Hi everyone, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a quick guide on how to enable your Mark III to have full screen mode. And as you can see right now, this is what full screen mode looks like. You have access to all your apps in full screen mode. There are some bugs with this method. For example, your split screen uh, doesn't always want to uh, fill the and and remove the top status bar, but for the most part, you get uh, full functionality on full screen. And also, CarPlay is stretched out, and I don't know how we be able to fix that. Maybe an update with that particular app. But let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is get the things you need. So you'll need a computer and you need to have a USB type A to C or A in order to connect your computer to your Mark III unit. Okay, so I'll go ahead and connect my computer. And I routed my connections to the glove box. So before you can get ready, you need to allow your computer access to uh, the, the Mark III unit. And by that, you go to your settings on your Mark III, search for USB, okay? And then uh, I forget which ones are which, but I'll just go down and make sure everything is there. So we wanna have file transfer enabled and the same one usb connect to pc allow usb connection to pc this should be enabled as well and usb debugging should be enabled verify apps or pc and uh, Forget, I forget where that is, but it should also be uh, enabled. And so here we're good to go on this end. Okay, and yeah, so we're good to go. If that's not set up, then your PC won't recognize the the Mark III unit. And here we know once we enable all those features, we have the Mark III units uh, recognized. Next, you need to go to to this website, developerandroid.com/studio/release/platforms. So we need to download SDK Platform Tools. For me, this is the Windows version. So I'll just go ahead and accept this. Okay, now, once it's downloaded, go ahead and open. I'm going to extract mine to the, my desktop. Okay, meanwhile, what you can do is go ahead and on your on your Mark III unit, download these three apps. So this immersive settings allows you to hide the status bar and the navigation bar on the bottom and go ahead and download that on your Mark III. Also download fluid navigation gestures and system UI tuner. Okay. And so I have them here. 
So I'll show you what each does. On the immersive settings, this allows me to choose whether I, I want to keep um, hide the the, stat, the status bar, hide the navigation bar, or hide both. Okay, so right here I have them both hidden, so you won't won't be able to see that. So uh, let me let me go ahead and disable this one, and then a second app that I'm using is the Fluid Navigation Gestures. If I disable it, I'll put back the navigation bar. And then finally, uh, we have the system UI tuner, which also does the same thing as the, um, the immersive settings. So it removes the status bar and navigation bar. The problem with this is that whenever you go, if you just allow this one, and whenever you go to split screen, it leaves the navigation bar on the bottom. And so, to do that, to fix that, I enable the fluid gestures and that removes it completely. So this is as much as full screen I can get. Uh, I'm, I haven't been able to remove the top one. So yeah, so go ahead and download those apps and then open them and grant every access that is required. And then it's gonna ask you that you need right access to be granted. And then, so when you go to your desktop computer and you're connected, um, open the file that you just downloaded. And then for, for Windows users, you have to sh hit shift and right click. And then open a PowerShell window. Okay. Once we're there, we need to enter dot slash ad adb devices. On some units, it might just be adb devices without the dot and the forward slash. Hit enter. Here we see that we're attached to the unit. Then we want to go back to. I have them open here. And so I'll just go one by one and I'll allow access to this. So the, the code that we need to insert is here for your hands. So we just go ahead and copy, copy this code, go back to our PowerShell window. Okay, and then add dot forward slash ADB. And then oh, forward slash, just paste the code. So you see, I'm just pasting the code with dot ADB, right in the code and hit enter. And we're good to go. And then we do the same with flu for the fluid navigation gestures. If you go to their website, you'll find the, the script there. So here, Again, we just copy this. We go to a PowerShell window, hit dot forward slash ADB, and then paste it. Paste the code again, hit enter. We're good to go there. And then for system UI tuner, you can do the same thing. This one has three pieces of code. You do one by one. First this one, then this one, and then this one. So uh, one thing to know is you have to have the application installed before you can uh, write this into the code, otherwise you'll get an error. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you.